mega carriers are taking over the trucking business and here are 11 things that will prove that this is Ennis from Never Stop Trucking. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how the mega carriers are trying to take over the business here in the United States. Uh, as we all know, there are almost 2 million active carriers in the United States. That includes the brokers, but the big majority of them is uh, trucking carriers. And most of them are one to five trucks right now. But everything is being done lately that works in favor of these mega carriers. So let's start with the first thing. The mega carriers, they can survive on cheap loads. They go by volume. Same thing as if you had a mom and pop store around the corner and a Walmart next to it. Walmart can slash their prices because they count on the volume. And they can be more profitable that way because they have so many products and so many locations. Mom and pop store, they only have that one location. So this is one of the big problems. Uh, the mega carriers, they can be profitable with these cheap loads. And smaller carriers or uh, one truck operation owner operators, they cannot be profitable. The second thing here the mega carriers, they can almost hire anyone to drive their trucks. Us smaller trucking companies, usually our insurance will have a requirement of uh, one to two years of CDLA experience. But with uh, mega carriers, a lot of them, you don't have to have any experience at all. Uh, they can even train you, they can even teach you. And in return, they uh, make you sign a contract where you have to stay with them for a certain amount of time. So they can just hire almost anyone from the street to drive their trucks and we cannot. They have thousands of trailers and we don't. They can do with these trailers whatever they want. They can send them out anywhere. They can drop them uh, for weeks or days. And uh, a lot of shippers will require trailers on their lot so they can load them and put them in the back and whenever they're ready they can ship them or whenever they have a load ready they can just go out and uh, get that trailer or they can just drop them at different locations and uh, hook up a loaded trailer and just keep going so that's another advantage uh, mega carriers they can cover all lanes that a broker or a shipper has and all contracts with us it's different we can't do that we have to uh, first be profitable uh, we have to have uh, the ability uh, as far as trucks and drivers go maybe you work with owner operators maybe your owner operators they don't want to work uh, with that lane or they are not available you don't ha have anyone in town uh, you don't have the capacity to do uh, two loads a day or more for a certain lane so that's where these uh, big mega carriers come in because they can for sure do that uh, because they have a lot of trucks another thing is that they can do is they can uh, transport their trailers on a railroad they can just uh, uh, load those trailers and uh, transport them uh, more uh, uh, it can be cheap for them and it can be more safer more safe for them just put them on, on the railroad and um, a lot of this freight is not time sensitive so if you have uh, something that doesn't have to be uh, on the other side of uh, of the country or in a different uh, country mexico or canada or uh, uh, south america uh, you can just load it onto uh, the train and just forget about it Next thing is uh, they can go into Mexico and Canada and most of small carriers cannot. Um, not because no one is allowing it to them, it's just that because it doesn't make any uh, sense. It's not going to be profitable. You have, you have to have a lot of paperwork and permits and even if you go there, it's going to be uh, tough to find a load uh, to come back. Uh, next thing is they can pay their drivers less and have them stay on the uh, road for months. Uh, us smaller carriers, uh, we tend to pay uh, truck drivers better than these big carriers. 
and uh, for uh, the, the mega carriers it makes sense because uh, uh, they can uh, hire uh, drivers for less money uh, usually due to the fact that uh, maybe our insurance will not take them or they don't have uh, enough experience or they're just coming out of uh, trucking school or maybe they're uh, training them themselves so so th this way uh, they can pay them less uh, they can have them sign a contract and uh, most of them will require uh, drivers to stay on the road uh, for a few weeks or even several months um, mega carriers they have more power uh, with brokers shippers and government than what we do uh, if we talk to a broker uh, if if you have a, like a five or ten uh, truck op operation and you talk to a large broker or or any broker <laughs> they're not gonna listen to you like they're gonna say they're gonna say hey you know like okay I understand but this is the way we do business uh, brokers and shippers uh, can shape their rules around uh, uh, mega carriers wants and needs and they will do that uh, and then, uh, even government right even government will do that because you see a lot of um, uh, news where they talk about exceptions that were given to certain carriers as far as uh, ELD logs book uh, log books go or uh, driver hiring procedures uh, sometimes they will cut a break specifically to that one carrier and uh, they have more leverage than than what we do right we cannot uh, bend or shape any rules uh, but they can uh, brokers are more likely to work uh, with bigger and uh, older carriers that have been in business for a longer time and that makes sense because uh, um, if something gets cancelled uh, a larger carrier they can just recover that load uh, much much easier right for us sometimes it's impossible if you have a, a truck that broke down somewhere on the road uh, across the country and you don't have any trucks uh, there or even if you had they have their own load and their own trailer or it's an owner operator so it's going to be tough to recover that load and and deliver it on time but mega carriers they can they can do that and brokers know that and that's why they would um, of course want to work with them rather than with a small carrier and then um, the last thing here and this might be the most important thing is uh, uh, a broker wedding software uh, like highway and uh, rmis and government are working hard to shape rules uh, and regulations around mega carriers needs and wants and possibilities so uh, in last few years uh, most of the rules 99% um, of the rules that government came up with does not go uh, into uh, does not favor the smaller companies right and uh, it's it seems to me that uh, uh, they're making this maybe maybe mega carriers are lobbying uh, because they they have more power like we said earlier they're making all these rules uh, in order for uh, small small carriers to go out of business to give up and not mess with this anymore and they can have these uh, bigger carriers that are going to be paying them a lot more taxes and uh, a lot more money um, as as you know as part of the lobbying and uh, that's really unfortunate so uh, hopefully this uh, was helpful to you if you have anything to add uh, maybe I said something wrong or or maybe I forgot something uh, please do so uh, in the comment of this video uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys around